Hey guys, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple different drivers that you can add to your arsenal of coolness and tools that uh, you're going to be using for your drills and drivers, alright? Now, typically, when you buy your drill, it's going to come with a little piece of shit drill bit or a driver bit like this, alright? It is a two-sided, one is a uh, flathead, one is a, what is that, number three Phillips on there, which if you watched my last video, you don't use number threes for all that much stuff, so why they give you this, I don't know. Um, but basically, this will get a couple things done around the house and stuff like that, but uh, you really might want to consider upping your arsenal to uh, getting some more cool stuff, alright? Now, this is basically what I call a bit carrier, alright? I'm sure it has some sort of official name or something, if you know what it is, let me know below. Um, but basically what this is, is first off, it's a money saving device, alright? So instead of having to buy like the really long, big, stupid drill bits, which actually I don't even really have any of those, um, you just buy this little bastard right here, alright? And then you just get a little set of your driver bits, okay? And buying these is actually a lot cheaper than buying the larger ones like this, okay? So it does save you a little bit of money in the end. A drawback on, on the other hand is Sometimes when you're driving a screw and you, you know, might get a little sloppy with it and you kind of pull this way, sometimes the screw will get stuck or the driver will get stuck in the screw. So just kind of watch for that. Um, if you're doing something like where you're having to be a contortionist to get to it and you can only get one hand on there and then you, you know, realize after you unfold yourself that, oh shit, I left the thing in there and sometimes just too much of a pain in the ass to get to again. Um, just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, but yeah, something like this I use pretty much day in, day out. It does come in a couple different lengths. Um, next most common one that I use for a carrier is going to be something like this. All right. Now, this one you might notice is a black color. The black colors typically, not always, but typically are good for using on an impact driver. All right, they can handle a little bit more torque, a little bit more twist, and they're not gonna break so much. All right, yes, you can still break these things. They are disposable, um, but the black ones are gonna hold up a little bit longer than uh, some of the other ones that, uh, that you might encounter, all right? Um, now, the next one that uh, you might see is actually, let me, let me grab something. Okay, the next one that you might encounter is something like this. And it kind of looks like a larger version of this guy, but it has a sliding mechanism, all right? What that does is keeps your fingers off of the screw, all right? So, you got, slide it up like that, screw goes down inside, you get it all chucked in there, and now this is going to hold the screw so you don't have to. This is kind of advantageous because having this, these, uh, these threads twist against your fingers can kind of suck, especially if they're longer drywall screws, because for some damn reason, those super, super sharp threads that they have on there will just like fall off and I swear they get into your fingers, all right, but at least they'll, uh, they'll slice you up a little bit and that's not very fun. All right, so some people absolutely, absolutely love these things. Personally, I can't stand them. I don't know why, I just don't care for them. Um, I just, I feel like I get more control actually holding the screw myself and then holding this. Um, but again, that's just a personal preference. There are, are a lot of guys that absolutely love using these things, all right? And they do come in various different lengths as well. This one is made by Makita. And uh, again, it's just a much, much larger version of this one here, okay? Um, now, there is this wonky little crazy device. Um, this also is a driver bit attachment, all right? Just put a uh, number two on there. And this one, once you get it chucked up, is you can actually go around corners, okay? Now, this one, again, I am not a huge fan. I have seen some that are better than others or less bad than others. Um, you do get about, you can go up to about a 90 degree turn on this. Um, but I'm not, again, I'm not a huge, huge fan. This one actually is designed for a, a, a screwdriver. Um, I have used it on my drill a couple times. Um, eh, I'm, I'm kind of hit or miss on these things, all right? Um, 
again, a couple guys, if you're in a tight spot, literally and figuratively, um, sometimes this, this can uh, get the job done for you. Um, just keep in mind, you cannot get a whole lot of torque. You cannot get a whole lot of drive out of uh, using something like this. Um, I'm sure there are, like I said, less bad versions or hopefully better versions of these things. Um, if you know of any of them, let me know. I'd like to uh, check some of those out. Also, your drill will do more than just making holes and driving screws. You can actually drive much larger things, um, like lags and you know that type of stuff, if you get the right attachments. This one is an attachment for quarter inch sockets. Okay. Got one here for a three eighths socket, and I've got them all the way up to a half inch socket. Okay. Um, now. Will this thing remove lug nuts? No, not this one anyway. You might have a super badass drill that will, um, and oftentimes an impact wrench or a, uh, an impact driver will uh, will take care of those. Uh, but more often than not, um, for the you know little things that I'm doing here and there, driving quarter inch lags, half inch lags, you know once you get the hole pre-drilled, um, these things work like a champ. So. Um, again, a couple things to add to your woodworking arsenal. If there's any others that you can think of, leave them down in the comments. And as always, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, and groans, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.